Hopefully it's not too crooked. But we'll see. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you what is in my gym bag. It looks like this. Alright. So the things that I'm gonna show you, I don't take with me every time because it's a lot and I don't need everything for every workout. Um, I have things for like leg day, warm up, and then for when I wanna lift. I don't know what this is. <laughs> All right. So first, the thing that I could not work out with is headphones. So these Bose ones are my favorite. But there's only one little problem. They look like this. They don't charge no more, okay? That's my fault, but they don't hold a charge no more and it's very sad. So I have to put up with these. They sound good, they just are uncomfortable. So they're not over the they're not around the ear, they're just over the ear. So like it's the wrong way. But they just sit on your ear. And if you have piercings like this, like it bothers it after a while it starts to hurt and then also it just gets sweaty around your ears and it's not nice let me make sure i'm recording first okay, we're good okay so you got your headphones and then make sure they're charged because i had one time went to go grab these and they weren't charged i guess they just die on their own even if they're off which reminds me i need to charge it so i can go to the gym later Start with leg day, which most of my stuff is for leg day. So I have my barbell pad, so that when you're doing hip thrusts, you're not killing your bones. And then it also came with an ankle strap. This. So you could do like cable kickbacks and things like that. And this one's nice and comfy. And the uh, the little loop is not too big so it's not going to dig into your ankle and these ones i got on amazon i can go ahead and um, link it but it's called it's like adonis strength or i don't know how to pronounce it so there's that and then this comes with straps too like so that it doesn't open up as you're using it and so now we have resistance bands so i have these ones that i just got from amazon um uh, there's different sizes. I cannot find the black one, which is the strongest one. So I use two. This one's the second strongest, and I think this is like third strongest. This, well, this one's light, and this one's heavy. So I use these ones, either this one first, and then I'll add this one, or whatever I'm feeling. These ones are nice and stretchy, so they're easier to use for beginners. But the ones I just got are hip circles, and these ones are tough. So they don't move as easily, like... Ugh, you see that? Like, man... Just give you a good workout, like for hip thrusts or squats. Put it around your knees, well, right above your knees. Oh, it adds so much resistance. This is the brand. I don't know. I just found it based on reviews. They have three different ones. There's this one, and the inside has this like no slip grip thing. And they come in this cute little handbag too, or little bag. And there's this one. This one's a little bigger. So they're all pretty tough, but once you work up your resistance and your strength, you go to these. Alright. And then next, just for like warming up, or if I want to do, um, if I want to target just my glutes, like isolation, I got ankle straps. I mean, ankle weights. I don't know how much they weigh. I got them out at a thrift store. <laughs> but yeah, they weigh enough. And they're covered in hair because of my dog. It doesn't say how much they are. I feel like they're like 2, 4 pounds maybe. They're not that heavy. Maybe 5 pounds. So those are nice. I don't always use these. I use these more in the house. Or when I'm doing warm-ups. Like glute activations. And then, so... I'm gonna go on to like lifting, I guess. I left the other one in the car, so I'm just gonna show you one. <laughs> but it's this glove by Primate. Like that. Because without these, oh my god, my hands hurt and then I get like calluses. And my hands are already dry, so I don't need more rough patches on my hand. So you just put your thumb and your fingers. 
that. You just close it and it gives you a nice grip for the bar. And these are nice and comfy. I've used these a bunch of times. Pretty much everything I got from Amazon except for the headphones. I'll link everything down below too in case you guys are interested. Do they see my size? Well, these are a size small, just if you guys are wondering. Because you have to measure your hand to make sure you get the right size. So let's offer the actual workout. So what I also bring is a water bottle. I know this is my shaker bottle that I make protein shakes in, but I also like to just take my water in it without the little shaker. This one's purple. I just got it from Amazon. So cute. Because I was usually always taking, I don't have it here, my other water bottle. Oh, it's right there. But that one, it leaks from the side and like it doesn't come out of the little tip that well. And so I like this one a lot better because you just... And then, since I wear glasses and they get dirty, you take a little cleaning cloth. And that'll save you because I hate when there's like specks all over my glasses and I feel like I can't see nothing. So there's that. And then chopstick. You know... Your lips get dry if you're thirsty and you're dehydrated you need some chopstick especially here in the winter time my skin gets dry my lips get dry and then since it is very dirty hand sanitizer this one is more of like a men's scent but it smells good i was given this to me um like a year ago but i just started using it recently you can see a little bit used but yeah, hand sanitizer to keep your hands clean or you can wash them downstairs. But my gym, the bathroom is downstairs. So it's like you have to stop what you're doing and go downstairs, whatever. So yeah, guys. That is what I have in my gym bag. What else? And if you're on your days, your period, tampons, pads, whatever, you know, or if you know it's coming, pack some just so that you're ready because nothing is worse than being in the gym and then all of a sudden you feel something and you're not sure what it is and you have nothing to help yourself so just pack that in your bag and you'll be good all right sometimes i'll plan out what i'm gonna do ahead of time so i won't take the whole bag either like say i'm just gonna try and do a lot of hip thrusts or work on the smith machine i'll just take this in like a resistant band or if i'm just gonna be doing like upper body i'll just take the gloves you know or if i want to try something harder you can just take this i like to wrap these like this it just makes it easy you just walk around like that and when you need it you just take it off yeah so you don't always need this but if you are going to have a longer workout or you know you're going to use most of your stuff then it's just easier to take your bag especially because your water bottle is in there and all of that so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and um comment down below what you'd like to see next just to give me some ideas on what you guys would actually like to watch i'm just making videos that i like and hoping that you guys will like it too so just let me know um yeah just let me know what you guys want to see next and i'll see you next time bye